Hi, good evening to you all. I want to get on here today to let y'all know to be sober and vigilant. Make sure y'all are being watchful and um, staying clear of people from the past, especially certain people that did stuff to you back in the day. Um, there is that we are in a season right now where the enemy is sending old people from the past um, to try to reel you back in, to try to get you back, to try to um, deter you and demotivate you and um, discourage you and all of that kind of stuff. So I want y'all to be careful with that. Um, he He's actually been sending like multiple people from the past. If one don't get you, he's going to send another one, okay? And I guess if the other one don't get you, he's going to send another one. And I'm not talking about just anybody. I'm talking about, you know, people that probably cussed you out or something back in the day. Um, Will he send those people to you? It could be an ex. It could be an ex-boyfriend, a girlfriend that he's sending back to you. And you're looking like, what are you even doing over here? I done graduated school, got a master's degree, done had three children, done had a child if you just had one. <laughs> and here you come over here. What are you doing? What are you even doing? How did you even get my number? That type of thing. How did you even... What do you come from? Y'all ever heard of that song, Return of the Mac? Well, this is Return of the Narc. And the devil is trying to discourage you, I'm telling you. So in this season, it's, see, you're about to get a blessing. You're about to receive something um, from God, and the devil know it. So what he want to do is throw you off your path and distract you. And probably to get you upset, because some of these people are very, they, what, what you call it, mischievous. They're very manipulative. They're very manipulative people, and some of them kind of balls it too, or try to make you do something. You know, you could tell them, like, no, I don't want to talk. They just keep trying to make you talk to them anyway, and that's to um, probably get you into an argument with them so that they can open you up for uh, for demons. Really, that's that's the goal is to open you up and to discourage you and get you open for demons. Because a lot of times when you get upset and start arguing back and forth with certain with certain entities, that opens you up to demonic possession. Y'all, I know a lot of y'all didn't know that. So try not to argue back and forth with anybody. Um, let that door stay closed. If you closed it a long time ago, close it. Keep it closed. Don't do not let them back. Don't do not let them back in, especially if they really disrespected you. Especially if they really disrespected you in the past. These people don't people don't change y'all unless they have been touched by the Most High God Himself, unless they've given their life to Christ. Don't nobody change because you can't change yourself. It starts. It starts with within. It starts from Christ. Christ has to be the epitome of your life. He has to be the forefront of your life for, for a person to really make a real noticeable um, godly change. And y'all, it does not matter what these people say. A lot of times the enemy will try to show you that person's uh, sweet side or their human humanity, um, their human side. They'll seem normal for a little while and you'll be thinking like, dang, maybe they have changed. No, that's a trap. That is a trap, I'm telling you. It's a it's a trap to get you back in. Ask them have they gotten deliverance since y'all last talk. Ask them have they given their life to Christ. Ask them do they read their word. If they fumbling over the answer or saying no, they haven't, then that's a no. Don't let them back in, y'all. And even if they say that they have, you have to test their spirit. Test about the fruits that they're bearing. You know, some people do change, but if they haven't put in any work towards towards themselves um, to grow closer to God, to their to their creator then it's a no you know the enemy is very tricky he know how to make people um seem normal for a minute and you and they'll, they'll seem like they have changed but the thing is a lot of times they they don't change they just learn how to present themselves in a way that doesn't blow their cover and some of them may even apologize guys they may even they may even apologize to you tell them look i forgive you i forgave you a long time ago and keep it moving because they really, they don't mean it, okay? <laughs> they'll, they'll apologize, and they and a piece of them may try to try to mean it, but they don't mean that. Um, they still, if they're still the same person, they'll, they're likely to do it again. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna do it again. And leave that pa leave them in the past where you left them. Um, Cause you know, if they come back, you're gonna be, you're gonna be sick because they're gonna be taking you through all types of stuff all over again. And you're gonna be feeling bad because you took them back. The enemy has sunk some of these people because a lot of you all are on your godly journey. You're doing really, really good, and the devil know it, and he, you haven't fallen into any snares. So he going to pull out some of his old tricks, going to use people. He's going to use some people from your past. Whether you talk to them for a month, whether you knew them for a week or whatever, um, a piece of you, some of y'all going to be wanting to give some of these people another chance, and I'm telling you, don't do it, especially if 
they disrespected you in a major way especially if they put hands on you especially if they if you had to fight this person all types of stuff do not take them back because if you're doing really good right now the enemy is upset and he's trying to destroy and distract you okay this is why it's very crucial and, and critical for you all to forgive people and move on you know if they apologize okay great thank you but goodbye you know i ain't forgot what you done okay and i'm pretty sure you'll do it again you know a lot of times when you get that sign when you see that it's time to go don't let them back in it don't matter what they talking about to be honest um what made you call me anyway you know what made you reach out to me there's plenty of people you could have reached out to <laughs> but anyway i hope you guys take heed to this message they are the enemy is definitely sending narcs again that's one of his tricks there's something that he pulls out of his bag of tricks y'all do not fall for it block block button all right and keep it on block okay all right i love you guys take care bye